fix it I know it's been a while been very very busy with work and stuff like that uh, today we'll be looking back at this Ryobi multi hedge cutter tool um, if you've seen the previous video on this you'd know that uh, I've got it going uh, we cut the edge and all that stuff of it it was really fine after and now we've come back to the same issue where it's struggling to keep going um, I don't know if it's a carb issue, so we're going to take the carb off today. I'm going to give that a clean, get it all stripped down, get it all put back together. Uh, we'll see if that makes a difference. Uh, I've also used the high and low settings as well uh, for uh, low speed and high speed. Um, I did get it running for a bit. I've changed the spark plug. Uh, I've checked the piston as well. The piston ring seems okay. It's not the ring ain't all shiny. Um, so there's only one thing left to do is to get this carb off, give it a good service, see if um, that'll help, uh, see if any of the chambers are blocked up. So we'll put some carb spray and that through for all the chambers and the holes and stuff like that. We'll give a good blowout and then we'll go back from there. Uh, this Ryobi multi-tool um, cutter uh, runs at 50 to 1, so I've mixed the 50 to 1 up. Um, I put that in as well and we're still having the same issues so yeah let's get on with this Ryobi let's see what's going on let's see if there is a carb issue with it we'll get the carb uh, good service clean and we'll put it all back together and then we'll go for a start up we'll see what's going on with that right and if you do like what you're seeing guys please hit that subscribe button it is free you don't have to pay for anything whatsoever. Uh, if we can get over 250 subscribers, I will give another little uh, giveaway. So yeah, let's try and get this channel going a little bit quicker. I know I've been pushing a lot of content out because um, obviously due to work and stuff like that, it's been been really busy. I don't have time to get out in the shed. Um, so yeah. If you do like what you see, and there is still quite a few percentage of people that's watching the videos and not hitting that subscribe button. Uh, it may be the fact that you're not liking what you're seeing, so you're not hitting the uh, subscribe button, which is understandable, which is fair. You have the right to do that. It's not a problem. Uh, for the people that are watch still watching the videos, um, please hit that subscribe button. As soon as you get onto the channel, you see me. If you like a video, just drop a comment below and tell me what you think if you are liking what you're seeing um, negative feedback is always welcome you know what I mean I'm not bothered about that uh, I'll just take little bits and pieces from those negativities and turn it into a positive uh, without further ado let's get on to this Ryobi let's see what's going on let's get this carb serviced and let's see if we can get this running uh, in this video if not then I'd like you to drop your thoughts in the comment of how I can get this uh, running and staying running. It is a two stroke and we all know what two strokes are like. They really are to get, get going sometimes. Um, but yeah, let's crack on. Let's turn the camera around. Let this, let's get this carb off and let's see what's going on. Right and guys, so these two bolts here, uh, T25s, um, but the problem is they're bloody rounded off. Right, I'll be back with you in a sec. Right guys, so I just thought I'd bring you back. Um, I just had to use my little little Dremel tool here to put a cross head uh, in these bolts because uh, where I'd been in and out, in and out, in and out with these, the... Uh, completely perished and they're just rounded in so so I made a little quick cross head there on each one 
with my little Dremel tool. So I didn't go all the way down, just had enough so I can get me flathead or cross heads in there. <coughs> so that'll do for now. Um, yeah, so let's, let's take this carb off. At the end of the day, this ain't being sold. This, this is for me uh, to use around my house. So it's not like, um, it's not like anyone else is going to be using this apart from me. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is we'll take this carb off, just pulls off like that, disconnect your throttle cable. Um, yeah, just disconnect your throttle cable and then just take your lines out here as well. That wants to come out. So we just had to snip that off. And these two pipes look quite squished on there as well. To be honest with you, I think, don't think this is gonna be the right, right cable, uh, right carb for this machine. Uh, what I'm going to do Right, let's just give it a clean. We'll put some new pipe on Because I just had to rip that off so We'll get these two We'll get this car took to pieces. We'll take it to the workshop. We'll get all this taken to pieces We'll give it all a good clean Give it a good blowout We'll just uh, fit a new line on and Then we'll go from there so next time you see this, we'll be in the workshop and then we'll get this shut down. Yeah, so I'll show you this. Um, if you've not seen this video before, I'll show you uh, how I go about taking a carb apart. Um, they're pretty straightforward in all fairness. You just need a good fitting screwdriver And all you're going to do is take this, take these four screws out here. The little short screws. Just put that in your magnetic tray if you've got one. If not, just use an old Chinese tub. Or any sort of little tub you've got or a little um, cap of a paint can. Out really. WD-40 top out. Plate off the back. Let's have a quick look. There's a little, little tiny bit of grot in there. Then you'll have your gasket and diaphragm, which sometimes gets stuck. But on this case, we'll be all right. So, to separate these, if you can. Sometimes they just get welded together and you just have to sort of like tease it out slowly. Just wanted to see if the diaphragm was, was saggy or like that, but that seems to be in okay condition. Uh, inside here, you've got a spring that sits underneath. Let me just get a. So on this carb, on any carb, you'll have a little tiny spring that moves your needle up and down to let fuel in, to let fuel stop going in and out there as well. So I can see that is moving. That's moving okay. Uh, then we'll go around to the primer bulb. 
these can be quite tough so just crack them you get a few of that you get a bit of fuel that comes out here in a sec but everything goes into your into your tray just to make sure everything's all right you don't lose any then you get a bit of fuel that will drop out here in a second just like so and take this plate off here first and then we'll just have a quick look in here there's no there's no crap or anything inside the filter it's a little bit dodgy but we we'll just take that out just flip that out onto the don't lose that because you'll need that in there as well that uh, sends clean fuel down there You've also got these little holes that situated all the way around, apart from these two big ones here. So basically your, your carb is disassembled. If you want to go to the full works, you can do. Yeah, so once you get to this stage of taking all your plates off, your diaphragms and your gaskets and stuff like that, you'll have a bare shell. Come over to there as well. You can also see there's some crap on top of that gasket and diaphragm there. Which is not too bad. Also inside here, there's a bit of crap there as well by the looks of that so all I'm gonna do now is get some carb spray put that over there we'll move this tray out of the way so I'm gonna get some carb spray I'm gonna spray all this down uh, then I'm also gonna get my compressor as well then we're going to give it all a good blow out okay, if uh, you've got some carburetor spray it's good to use it on here just use some car spray on this just do it in every single hole all around all these vent holes and whatever else you know all through the tubes everywhere we'll give it all a good blow out we'll come down here we'll also blow the uh outlet uh, o's as well we'll also do that what fills the carb up and stuff like that We'll take this out here as well, which can easily come off. So that looks. So I'll just blew through that and that's fine. But well, let me get the carb spray. So we have got the carb spray. I'm just gonna go through all the holes. Just remember that all these holes do lead back out to another one so just be careful when you're just doing carb spray make sure you're just facing it all the way from you because the last thing you need Is any uh, car spray going in your eyes? So, if you have got to my protection, my protection on your safety glasses, so nothing's going to get in your eyes. Give this a good clean out. All I do is um, get my compressor as well and then just go around.
Right then, so uh, I blew all that out anyway. Um, you don't have to see all that, but I blew it all out, blew all the holes out, everything like that. So that's all had a good clean. These diaphragm and gaskets are a bit hard, but I think we can still work with that. These ones are the most important. Don't seem saggy or anything like that. So I'll just give that a quick quick spray. Quick right, so I'm just gonna do a reverse revol. I'll put it all back together and I'll I'll fix it back onto the strimmer and then we'll go for a start up and uh, we'll see how that goes. I'll bring you back in a second. Right then everyone, so I've fitted that back on. To give all that into there clean as well so we didn't get any uh, metal shards going through uh what we're going to do now is i'm going to quickly clean off the table uh we'll put the uh filter back on and that cover that's all that back on um yeah so I think what we should do now, I think we should go through the through the motions of the tell you to start this up. Uh, we'll get it started up, and hopefully it'll work. If not, then I'll probably leave the video there and wait to see if anyone else can help me out on how to get this thing going if it doesn't work. But let's get the camera set up again. Let's get you moved. Let's clear the table and let's see if we get this Ryobi uh, multi-tool all uh, working and running fine. Right, so I've got some got some 50 to 1 mix here. I've already pre-mixed that and I put a little bit in the other day. Um, that's when it was sort of working but wasn't. So I'll fill this uh, tank back up. Right, so that's that done. Happens. So you click your switch on, prime it 10 times. Right, that's 10. Let me just get you a bit closer. That's 10 times. You flick all the way down to where it's telling you, which is on the blue. You give it four pulls. That's four. Click it up to the white, which is half choke. Blue's full choke, white's half choke. So then you're gonna do it six times. Nearly. We'll put it on to run. No, it's not doing it. That's the problem I keep having. It wants to start. But it doesn't matter how much I do high and low settings for some reason. It's just not having that extra bit. So... Let me just initiate more fuel. We'll put the idle in a bit as well. Let's go through the same motion again. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
We click it all the way down. Do it four times. And you move it to half choke. Nothing. Absolute nothing. So that carb is had a full clean. Um, everything like that. A full clean. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let a bit more fuel by. This is 50 to 1 mix, so there's more it's more petrol than oil. It's only just to lubricate the engine, stop it from overheating. Um, the, kill, the kill switch works. I changed the spark plug. I've checked the uh, HT lead, that, that's fine. The only thing I haven't checked yet is compression, but I haven't got a compression tool. So, let's try it again. We'll give it a few more pulls than what it's saying on here. Just see if we can get a bit in there. If not, we'll sp spray some uh, carb spray in the top or something like that. Just see if it'll kick into life. Right, so, all the way down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Full choke, half choke six times it's same, but I might do a few more. Right, we'll go full choke, F on run, sorry. We'll take the throttle off because the because uh, the engine might be flooded out. We'll just see if this will run off its off its own back. It won't flood it out. Um, yeah, so I'm not quite sure what's going on. I'll bring you back in a second. Right, guys, so I've been on this now for the last God knows however long. Um, just won't go. Once, once to try. But I've tried, I've tried the iron low quite a few times. Um, I've done it a turn and a quarter. I've done one at a time. So what I'll do. Right, so both ports now are closed. So half. One and a quarter. I'll bring the other one out. Same. Half. One and a quarter. I switch it on. I put it down to where it's showing. Switch it on. Give it ten pumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Gone down there. Pull the trigger up and give it four pulls. Four done. Did you hear it? It wanted to go. So, full choke, half choke now on the white, and then you do that for six pulls. Nothing. And it's supposed to run for 10 seconds and then you can flick it up to run. But it's not even doing that. Watch how many times I pull this. Oh. We had something. Let's put it on to run. See, that's all it does. 
It wants to go, but for some reason it just hasn't got that extra oomph to go. So let's just give a bit more fuel. Right, so we give it a bit more fuel. We'll go half choke this time. Give it a couple of pumps. All right, let's try this time. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing again. So I'm going to wind all that one over. So I think on this carb, I think it was all the same really. High is closest to the filter. So let's go through the same process again. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Click it on. Switch it all the way to full choke. Two, three, four. Back up to half choke. Six. And after six pulls, it should be running. But I'm considering that the compressions may be low. But let's just try a couple more times. So we'll put it on to run. No, that's all it does. It physically won't do anything else. And without the compression tester, which I'm gonna to have to order, I have no idea if this engine is completely pumped or not. I don't know how long the other guy had it for. No, no idea. But for some reason, this little two-stroke engine will not start. It won't go. It's been it's been used and abused beforehand, but literally it won't do nothing. The bulb fills up lovely, it primes, it does what it's supposed to be doing there. Uh don't know if this gasket is too far gone so the airflow is actually getting out or getting in. Uh, the piston rings I looked at before, they look completely fine. They don't look shiny and worn out. They look absolutely fine. But what I might have to do is get some piston rings for it change them over and may or what I could do first actually is get the compression tester get that ordered um, and then we'll have to revisit this one again to see uh, if this will work So everyone, after me spending quite a lot of time trying to figure out this, you see me do a carb clean on it. Um, so I don't really know where else to go. I'm going to get a compression tester. I'm going to order one of them off Amazon. They're about 12 quid, about 12 UK pounds, and they're probably, I think, around about $20. Something like that anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get one of them ordered. When that comes, it'll be a few days from now when after you've seen this video so there will be another video coming back onto this ryobi i'd like to see all the comments below as well um drop me a comment below to see what else i could probably test on this machine to see if we can get it up and running um 
the only thing I can do and when it comes is to get the compression test there all you do is stick it in the top of the where your spark plug goes and you give it quite a few pulls with your trigger fully engaged as well so you pull the pull cord about four or five times to get a, a true reading you can also do that again it doesn't really matter um what else the only thing I can think of, because when I brought this carb, it was only a cheap um, carb. So if anybody knows a link in the description where I can find a proper carburetor for this Ryobi engine, two stroke, then please drop me a link in the comment section below as well. Every little thing helps towards this machine get going again. I want this machine get going again, because obviously behind me, you can see I've got big conifer bushes I've got holly trees I've got stuff that needs chopping down but I can't get that done until this machine gets fixed because it has a chainsaw end on there it's got the um, also the uh, grass edging cutter there as well the strimmer part it's also got a bush cutter with a blade on the end uh, it's got a hedge cutter on the end which you've seen me use before um prior to that video it was working fine for a little while there was no there was nothing wrong with it it would start up pull up it would run work fully but now it's just come to i don't know i don't know if it's end of life the engine might be kaput i don't know but if anybody can drop a comment below help me out um so this one is classed as a fail so far uh yeah just drop me a comment below let me know what you think how we can get this ryobi engine working again uh after this video has been out i've probably already ordered the compression tester anyway so i'll get that done uh yeah if you like the video guys please hit that subscribe button also drop us a like down below please drop me a comment to uh give me a bit more information on how to get this going um yeah so thank you very much for stopping by and i'll see you all in the next video so take care have a good bank holiday and i'll see you all in the next one